Hello guys and welcome to another one of my Unreal Engine 4 tutorials. This is a kind of a continuation on from my last line tracing videos. Because um, it follows on the same sort of pathways and things you'd use for these things. So what I'm going to be showing you guys today is how to pick up a physics object and move it around. Sort of like how they do it in games like Amnesia, um, Gmod, that sort of thing. You know, picking up an object, dropping it. Um, and in later videos I'll show you how to sort of fire those objects off and use that as a gameplay mechanic in itself. Um, so all good fun. So what we're initially going to do is like the other videos, we're going to start off in our first person character. Now this is our line trace from last time and we could be quite cheeky with this because we're doing the same thing again. Now we want to use a different line trace because this one is managing the interactions and the, the, the length that we want to use it uh, isn't the same so we're going to change all that stuff. So I'm going to copy and paste all of this here. And if you weren't here for, you know, if you haven't seen the video yet uh, about us doing some line tracing, go back and watch the line tracing video. It'll go through this stuff a lot easier for you and you'll be able to understand how they work. So, I'm going to control W with these selected and get a new copy of this. First of all, we need to change the input because we don't want to press E, it will fire the same one as the other one up, up top there. So, we're going to get rid of this. I'm going to do this as left mouse button and plug him straight into my line trace. I'm also going to set my line trace to be a bit shorter, so probably about 500. I don't want to be, you know, be able to pick things up from too far away. It wouldn't be very manageable. So compile that and save that. So what we want to be doing initially is what we need to bring in first is add component and do physics handle. This will be the system that carries the the physics object along. So. What we want to do is come out of here and do grab component at location, physics handle, that one just there. Now we want to go down to our component, drop off here and do get world location. So we'll be getting the location of this object and finding out exactly where we can grab it. So the grab location will be the object and where it is located in the world. The component we're grabbing will also be the one that is being hit by this line trace. We can add another branch here quickly just to pop that in there. Go to return value hit, set that to true. So we need to basically tell that, that yes, we have hit and we have interacted with this object. So we've got that working now, which is absolutely fine. So when we fire this off, it will grab that component. Now, what we need to do is we need to have the adverse effect so we can let go. So quickly on here, we're going to go to released and release component physics handle. So then when you let go, when you release the button, it will then stop you holding it on. You could do different things if you want to have it. So you click it and toggle it on. You can have that sort of stuff if you want to. It's entirely up to you. So what we need to do next is we need to now trace this location um, along the where, you know, where the mouse is being, you know, where the mouse inputs are happening. So we, when you look around, it follows where the mouse is looking and that sort of thing. So we're going to copy this piece of code here because this is going to tell us exactly where the end point is going to be with that 500 meters. We're going to keep it to 500 um, because it'll be the better thing to do. Again, like I said, you don't want to be too far away. So I'm going to copy all this with, again, Control W. I'm going to drag it up to the top here, up to where, if you've got a preset, um, like I'm using the, the, the preset first person character, it'll be up here. If not, you'll know where this is. You've made it yourself, so you'll know where that is. I'll move my jump out of the way just for a minute. Get rid of that stuff over there. So this mouse input here controls where the mouse is looking at at any time. So we want to come off here and do uh, get location, set target location physics handle. And again, we copy that, do the exact same thing onto here. We also then want to plug the result of this whole mathematical piece into these new locations. So I'm going to move this out of the way a bit. Have this neaten up a little bit. So pop you there, pop you there, pop you there. Drag and drop that bonk into there and into there. So compile and save that now. I'll run through it very quickly. We pressed left mouse button. It's going into the line trace. It's finding out shooting 500 units in front of us. If it discovers an object, it will hit that. It will grab it at the location. It will also get the world location of that and grab that. It will then set the target location of the physics handle to this distance, and then it will then trace where that target physics handle is. So compile and save that. Go to our first person world. Play this. So you can't see 
you can see our line, our, this is our grab line. It's only about 500 units long, whereas our E1 that we did earlier is that long. Ignore that one. So I'm press E on this to make it physics enabled. Then hold down my button. You can see now I can pick this up. And again, I can let go and it'll drop it. So again, these are all the same. It will pick up anything that has a physics component. So this one here, do the same thing. Pick this big box up. Anything that has set physics, you'll be able to pick up. And if you, you can set certain parameters, so only certain things can get picked up with that bit. That's something for a later episode, really, to go through. Because it's, again, a lot more advanced stuff going on. So here you have some very simple object picking up mechanics. So if you had a game where you needed to put the button on the, you know, the cube on the button, pick up your cube, put it on your button, and that button could then open up a new doorway. So that's a very brief, quick one for you guys just to you know, sink your teeth into. But um, I hope that was helpful for you guys and, and your games that you're working on. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to catch you guys into the next one that I do very shortly. Cheers, guys.